Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take you around this stunning four bedroom house by David Wilson. So downstairs, there's plenty to see and upstairs, there's even more to see. So hope you guys enjoy. So before we get into the house, I would like to let you guys know the location of the house is located in Edinburgh. The estate itself is really nice. And in that particular area, the weather is usually pretty good, which is surprising for Scotland and also there's not that many houses on the estate and there's a lot of places where you can go for walks especially when the weather is nice so with that said let's get into the house so as you enter the house you're greeted with this lovely hallway with a stair spiraling to the left and upstairs and downstairs you've got a number of rooms including your living room and also downstairs they've got the real wood all around which is really nice it's nice wood good effect and it'll be long lasting and to the right you've also got a room which they've used as a designated dining room and downstairs you've also got a window which lets in a lot of light so it brightens up the hallway even more So as you enter this room, again, they've designed this room like a formal dining, but you can use this room as a downstairs office. It would actually be pretty good as a downstairs office, seeing as there's a lot of light coming in with the pretty big windows. And again, you've got the wood flooring in this room and leading into the kitchen. So as you can see, you've got really big windows and they've got a ceiling high curtains installed in them, which adds that luxury look and that luxury feel to the room. But you can use this room either the way they've done it as the dining or you could use it as an office or you could use it as a small downstairs bedroom for perhaps guests that you've got. If you've got any elderly guests that can't or struggle to get upstairs, you can use it. So before we get into the kitchen, if we head back out of this room and directly in front of us is a downstairs loo. So the downstairs loo is, so the downstairs loo is a two piece and they've got the half height tiles. And in this particular uh, show home, they've got the windows or in this particular show home, they've got the mirror, which is really nice. So it makes that room look or makes the downstairs toilet look bigger than it actually is and again they've got the wood flooring in here which is pretty nice in terms of cleaning it would actually be easier to clean 
and you've got the window here fairly small window but it lets in quite a lot of light and of course is tinted so as you come back out into the hallway you've also got the a room downstairs which again you can use as an office or you can use as a bedroom and you've also got the living room and you've got the kitchen also downstairs so if you now head into the room so they style this room as a musical room like they've got the piano they've also got the guitar but you can use this room however you want it's big enough that you can actually use it as a guest room downstairs again if you've got elderly guests or perhaps you just want to have a bedroom downstairs you can easily use it as that you can also use it as a an office it'll be a very decent sized office and the way they've got this again music room you can even have your productions down here in this desk and they've got a big big enough window that lets in a lot of light and the the way the house is facing is front facing which faces towards the sun so you get plenty of light in this room and actually like the way they've designed this room. And again, they've got the wood flooring coming into here as well. So pretty much downstairs will be fairly easy to clean if So I like that they've got this chair here. You can sit down, play your guitar. You can sit down, review your life, or you can just look out the window and just enjoy this scenery. So as we come back out the room, back into the hallway, and to the left, you've got the kitchen slash dining area. And you've also got the living room so the living room is really nice um, the way they've styled it and they've got the french doors leading to the back so lets in a lot of light ample um, space and they've got the furnishings they've got is actually pretty big so it just shows you how big the room is despite having a three uh, three seater couch they've got a chair and they've also got a two seater behind us there's still a lot of room to move around. And they've got the ceiling high curtains again, adding that luxury feel to the room. And they've got nice wallpaper. So this room is very nice and um, nicely decorated, very neutral colors as well. So it gives you that Instagram look as well. If you want to take pictures in it, if you just want to chill as well. So it's, it's really nice. So and just to our left, they've got the again, they've got the French doors leading to the back garden. The back garden is a very decent sized garden. And with this particular um development, you get your a standard, I believe you get your six foot high um fences, which are really nice, especially if you're in the middle between two neighbors. You don't want to start negotiating getting from a three foot to six foot fence. You already have them, which is Really good. So all around, I'll say they design this room really well. The furnishings go well, match the room pretty decently as well. So as we come back out of the room and as we head into the kitchen, so in the kitchen, again, they've got the wood flooring all throughout. This is a lounging slash dining area. And what's interesting about this is you also have French doors in the kitchen leading to the garden as well as in the living room, which is pretty decent, uh, pretty new looking, different design. And it's actually nice because that way you have a choice. You can get out from the living room or you can get out from the kitchen. 
and decent lounging space, uh, sized space. They've got a little couch there. I mean, what I would do is I'll probably leave this space open so it gives you more room to move around in or you can use it as the dining. And at this side, they've got the kitchen area. So they've got the oven and they've got the integrated units. So they've got the integrated fridge, plenty of cupboard space. And I like the colors, really contrasts well. So they've got the lights underneath the cupboards, which is really nice. It brightens up the kitchen even more. And they've got the induction hob um, installed, which is really good. Is now so they've got the the nice worktop with the drainage leading into the double sink. So it gives you plenty of space to have your dishes in and to or wash your dishes. So it's really it's really nice well thought of in terms of the design. So again, the induction hub gives it that extra, that modern look um, to the house as well. So again, Instagram look, n nice and bright kitchen, plenty of space, lights around, even at the bottom side. So it's well lit this room. So even if the weather is not very nice or it's dark outside, even at night time, the kitchen is well lit. So it's really nice. You can chill if you have people over. Plenty of space for that. So on the right, got the French doors and we've also got the windows. So it's kind of like a bay look um, sticking out, which is nice. So you've got light coming from the left. You've got windows on the left as well. You've got windows on the right. You've got the French doors in the middle. Plenty of space in the back garden. So especially when the weather is nice, you can definitely have a barbecue. Me, I love me some barbecues. Even in the middle of winter, I can spark one up, you know. It's, never say no to chicken. So also in the kitchen, you've got the utility, which is in a separate room. And within here, you've got your washing machine, you've got your tumble dryer, you've got an area for shoes. So just giving you guys an idea, you can have a jacket, clothes rack, you can have an area for your shoes when you're coming from this side, especially if you've got muddy shoes and stuff like that. You don't want to trample them all in the kitchen. And in here, you've also got a sink and a tap, which is really nice. Not many builders offer that. And why this makes it nice, again, if you come out being dirty, you can wash your hands, you can wash wherever. You, so it's a nice addition. And you've got the extra door that you've got two doors that lead into the kitchen. So you can come in either through the room that they've got as a formal dining or you can go in through the left side here. So as we come up the stairs, and you can see it says it's really nice. The spiral effect makes it look bigger so you can have a look from either side. And you've got the rooms all around as you come up to the top of the stairs. As you come up to the top of the stairs, you can see how spacious it is. You've got one side going to the left, you've got the other side going to the right, and then you've got the different rooms and some storage. And they've carpeted this, which is nice. So it's a good contrast from downstairs being wood flooring and upstairs being carpet. So we're now heading to bedroom number one. So bedroom number one is a very decent sized bedroom. I mean, that's a pretty large bed and the furnishings here is really nice. And you also get integrated wardrobes which is really cool because they're utilizing the space of the room very well. So if we head out of bedroom number one and head into bedroom number two, which is on the left here, again, very decent sized bedroom. And you can use this as a, a kid's bedroom or teenager's bedroom or even a guest bedroom and decent sized window letting in a lot of light. And as you can see, 
we're having a really nice day that day so a lot of light sunlight coming in natural light which brings out the aesthetics of this room and especially if you decorate the room nicely it will really shine So if we come out of bedroom number two and head back into the landing and just to show you guys how nice this landing actually is when you come out of this bedroom, nice views, it's all about the views. So as you come upstairs as well, you've got this room which they're using it as storage for the water tank. It would actually be good as a storage room but this being the water tank, it makes a lot of sense because of the size of the house. So as we now go into bedroom number three, in bedroom number three is slightly larger than the other two bedrooms and part of the reason for this is it's got an ensuite. So in this bedroom you've got the two windows so it's letting in quite, quite a bit of light which is nice as well you know. And then directly in front of us is the ensuite. But I'll let you guys just take in the size of this room and the deco and the furnishings. So in this room, you actually have integrated wardrobes as well, which is, again, utilizes the space very well and has things tucked away. So if we now head into the ensuite of this bedroom, so the ensuite comes with a three piece. It's got a shower, it's got sink, and it's got a toilet. So the shower unit has full height tiles, which is really cool, modern shower unit. So this ensuite actually has full height tiles throughout, which is really nice and it's got a small window, but lets in a lot of light, chrome radiators, and I believe these come as standard. So as we head back out in onto the landing and to our left, we've got the family bathroom. So the family bathroom comes with a four piece actually, it comes with a bathtub, toilet, sink, and also it comes with a shower unit. So it's really nice for the days where you say, you know what, I can do with a bath, you have your bath, I can do with a shower, you have your shower. So it's really nice. And again, chrome radiators. So as we head out the bathroom and to my left, down the hallway, of course I saved the best for last and this is the fourth bedroom, which is the master bedroom. And as you can imagine, the master bedroom is much larger than the other three bedrooms. So you've got plenty of space here and there's quite a lot of furnishing in this room, but there's still a lot of space to move around which just shows you the size of the, the room. So directly in front of us is actually closet space. So his and hers on the left and the right. And also you've got the ensuite. So guys, wait for it. This is really nice. So the builder is actually very generous with this ensuite, giving a four piece ensuite. So they've got a bathtub, a shower unit, sink and the toilet. And of course here they've got the wood flooring, which is really nice and the full height tiles. So very, very, very nice ensuite. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of this stunning four bedroom house by David Wilson. And if you're interested in this property, you want to buy, let us know in the comments below or shoot us an email so that way we actually, we can help facilitate that. Depending on where you're coming from, we can, doesn't matter, we can help facilitate. Oh, I love the acoustics of this room actually. Oh yeah, so guys, 
anyway if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe and of course hit that notification bell comment below your favorite feature of the house because i know there's plenty and leave us any comment you like even if you like my shades i know i do let us know also give us a like let us know this is the kind of content that you enjoy seeing and we'll see you in the next one